I don't use a Roth IRA because eventually the government will go back on its promise and tax all those gains when I go to use them. I hear this so often. It's in my opinion the number one reason why Americans decide not to use the Roth 401k or Roth IRA. And on the surface, this argument makes sense. Many Americans have significant untaxed gains sitting inside Roth IRA and Roth 401k accounts. Our government has borrowed an insane amount of money, interest costs are rising, and they could really use the tax money to pay the bills. But as you know, the answer is rarely on the surface. In this video, I'm going to explain the five reasons why I believe Roth IRA distributions will never be taxed. But before I do, this is a good spot to point out important disclosures. The information in this video is for educational purposes. This is not specific financial planning, health insurance, or investment advice. In addition, everyone's tax situation is different. You should discuss your tax situation with a qualified tax advisor before implementing any planning strategy. First, it's important to understand what a Roth IRA is. A Roth IRA is a type of individual retirement account that allows contributions to be made with after-tax dollars. This means that you won't get a tax deduction for your contributions, but the money you put in and any earnings it generates will grow tax-free. And when you reach retirement age, you can withdraw the money tax-free as long as you are at least 59 and a half and it's been at least five years since you first began contributing. Now, some people think this tax break looks too good to be true. So let me tell you the reasons why the government loves them and in my opinion, will never tax the distributions. Number one, the government makes billions of dollars in taxes right now by offering Roth IRAs and Roth 401ks. Because traditional 401ks and IRAs are typically funded by employees and employers with funds that give you a tax deduction and lowers your taxable income for the year, the government literally makes no money from them on the way in. They have to wait decades to receive anything and the government doesn't like to wait. They want their taxes now. In fact, in 2023, the government significantly raised the limits on the amount of money that can go into both the Roth 401k and Roth IRA. Now, it also allows you to receive your company match in Roth funds if you prefer. This allows the government to tax more money now and worry about future needs, well, in the future. Number two, if the government decided to tax Roth IRA withdrawals, no one in their right mind would continue to contribute to them anymore. The government would surely lose all of the current tax revenue they are receiving by offering the Roth. Tax-free withdrawals are the incentive that gets people to save now and pay that tax now. Take that away and it's worse than every other already existing retirement plan alternative. Number three, Roth accounts provide an attractive incentive to get individuals to save for their retirement. This reduces the burden on the social security system, which is already underfunded. By incentivizing people to save their own funds for retirement, social security can likely last longer than originally planned. Number four, the government budgets are generally for the shorter term, not the next 50 years. Now, I don't know the details of government budgeting, but tax revenue received from people making Roth contributions or Roth conversions is revenue the government can count on right now and put into the budget. Number five, as of 2020, 20% 20 or 26.3 million Americans have a Roth IRA. Roth IRAs have been around for over 20 years and have been widely adopted by individuals and financial institutions. Changing the rules now would disrupt the plans of millions of people who have based their retirement savings on the current tax laws. Even if Roth IRA distributions do get taxed, existing funds in existing accounts will most likely be unaffected. For fun, just read some of the tax code. It's littered with prefixes, pre and post, followed by a date. Like post 2030, anyone who opens dot dot dot, and would almost certainly be the case with a retirement plan used by so many Americans. But in my opinion, if the government does make changes to the plan, it will further and further restrict access to it 
for future generations and higher income individuals, either by restricting who can contribute to them, how much they can contribute, or both. If anything, the government could restrict them so that no one can contribute to them anymore. So I believe it's best to fund Roth IRAs and Roth 401ks, if appropriate for your financial situation, before you aren't allowed to anymore. And make sure you check out this video next in order to maximize your tax-free Roth retirement strategy.